Carolyn McCall, absolutely thrilled to have you with us. Thank you. So the big theme this year at MIP is a big shift, yes. transitioning yeah. to reshape media landscape. Um, as a producer and a broadcaster, what does that actually mean to you? Well, I think what that means is that, you know, you look at your strengths, you look at your assets, and you really, really reinforce those, you strengthen those. Studios is already a very well-established business where we have a completely different base of buyers. So we're an advertising business on the one hand, but we're also a business that sells to any platform right around the world. And then our big thing really as well is creating a, a direct to consumer division where we are actually going to launch a streaming service. Obviously, we can't talk about big shift without talking about the impact of the SVOD giants mm -hmm. today. What are your assets? What do you possess uh, to stay in the game? You know, we do get millions of viewers for our big shows. And actually, in Britain, if you're looking for 5 million plus viewers, there's only one place to come. That's ITV. That's a massive strength. So when we're looking at SVOD, we can actually promote what we're doing to a vast swathe of audiences. So we can segment our audiences and say these are the people that are most likely to want an SVOD service that is uniquely and distinctively British originated content. You mentioned Love Island. I mean, I, it would be a crime to not talk about it. Um, everybody is talking about yeah. Love Island. Everybody is well. watching it. Um, what are the key factors to its success? Well, I think it's, you know, it's in its fourth series in the UK. I think, number one, ITV2 has done a brilliant job of showcasing that. Number two, they know how to do that kind of show. It's stripped event TV where it's an appointment to view. If you don't watch it, you don't know what people are talking about the next day. Three, I think it's a kind of reflection of elements of our society, of the world today, of how millennials live their lives. And the real success of Love Island this year has been how far it's expanded into other segments of society. I mean, I, you know, other age groups, other, other, other demographics. Of course, we also have amazing partnerships with brands. So Superdrug, Rimmel, Ministry of Sound. I mean, really big, misguided. Their sales have gone through the roof. But those are very embedded partnerships now. And we've learned how to work with them where it augments the show rather than in any way takes away from the show. Well, I know how busy you are, so I'll let you go. Thank Thanks you so much. much.